guys, Chauncey Phillips here with a super, super early, random, out of print Blu-ray and DVD hunting video. It's now, uh, like I think it's about 6.30, and I literally just saw uh, this ad come up on Facebook, like one of those like promoted ads, and like I've never seen one like this before, and it said, a super mega garage sale, 6,000 plus DVDs and Blu-rays for sale, then it says DVDs $1, I don't know if the Blu-rays are a dollar as well, and then it had like a thousand plus video games and it looked like it had a bunch of different stuff because I saw some pictures and everything and it looks like it's like tons and tons and tons of boxes so I don't know if it's gonna be like you kind of be gonna be rooting through a whole ton of boxes or exactly what it's gonna be and it's like somebody that looks like it like um, it's like a flipper kind of guy or something like that that's what it said so I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna see there I, I don't know how well I'll be able to film it I'm gonna try my best because it's one of those things where like if the guy's standing there I might be able to show in the boxes but I might not be able to talk about it too much or there might be music and if there's music I'll like um, you know dub it over later I'll just like narrate over the you know what I'm seeing when I get home and just kind of say some of the stuff but I'm really interested in this because I've seen stuff where it's like people where they have like um, marketplaces and stuff like that where they're like advertising like a couple DVDs for sale and stuff like this. But this says like garage sale and it's only from like 7 a.m. till 11. So I'm really lucky that I saw this and like didn't miss it and it was a one day only thing. So I don't know if there'd be like a lot of people there, but I'm going to pretty much get there like right when it opens. So it's like one of these like finger cro fingers crossed things that maybe I'll come across some like out of print stuff like hopefully it's not all like you know super super common stuff that you see all the time but I feel like there might be a chance that I could come across something like really cool you never really know but I'm really excited about this and I'm glad I didn't miss it so let the out of print DVD blu-ray hunting video begin at the garage sale so we'll see what we can find but as you can see it's 6 37 a.m. so yeah so like I said fingers crossed and hopefully we can find something but we shall see but as you can see though it's super foggy out right now so hopefully all this is still going on and everything and it's not like canceled or anything I'm sure it should be but like I said I've never seen anything like this where it's like a Facebook sponsored ad for like a garage sale so I hope there's something cool there but I'm definitely driving through the mist to get there though yeah, well, I'm there now, and it's real awkward because, like, I didn't realize. I saw the sign that said garage sale, and I thought you could, like, pull up, and it would be, like, a circle kind of thing. But, like, I pulled up into it, and it was, like, right where the garage sale thing was. So I had to back up real awkward. But see, there's the sign and everything. But, yeah, like, I, like, awkwardly pulled up into this, and I didn't realize, like, there was nowhere to park up here. You have to park on the street, but as you can see, there's, like, a bunch of different boxes and stuff all on the ground down there so it's like boxes and boxes and boxes all over the ground so we're going to go through all this and see what we can find here hopefully we find some interesting stuff but it seems to be all mainly movies i guess the thing said some games but yeah so we're going to go through all this stuff and see what we can find here but there's definitely a lot of stuff i don't know how many blu-rays there are and luckily enough there's no music or anything and it just started like literally like minutes ago so there's like box sets here like this is a weird one to see a box set of little people big world everything kind of though from being out here in this fog it all kind of has this like dew on it so that's the only thing everything's like a little a little bit dewy but hopefully everything like is in good shape and stuff but i'm gonna kind of go through all this stuff and see what we can find though well, let's take a look and see like what stuff's in here. Like I said though, everything kind of has like this dew on it from being out here. And like, it's like kind of wettish a little bit. Yeah, so I think, I bet it's like been kind of out here like a little while. This is that Stafford Wives remake, which I, I mean, I always really loved, you know, the original movie. I thought this one was like one of those ones, they did this around the same time they did like the, um, uh, the Bewitched one. And it was kind of like they were doing a lot of those kind of things, like remakes of things around that time. They were all kind of like, they were all right. But this one's like, as I remember, it was okay. But the original Stafford Wives, I always really loved that one. There are like a lot of like really common stuff I'm seeing. Like um, this Elvis thing here. Elvis, a documentary. Something about Mary. So like, yeah, like a lot of like, like ones you see quite a bit, like Snatch and Breached and 
you know, like kind of like ones you see at like um, the Goodwill a lot. But you never know, there might be like something interesting in here. And I don't know, like I said, like for example, that TV series, that Little People Big World. Like I don't know if that would be a dollar or count down the skies on fire. And the thing too is I can't come back here because it's like a one day only thing. And like, you know, it only goes to 11. So it was like pure luck that I saw it. Like these Harry Potters. I remember these ones too. I don't know if any of you guys remember. This is one of those ones I remember when it was like early on with lots and lots of special features. I remember like, this was like one of these early ones. Ghostbusters was one of the first movies I remember with lots of features, but this is another one. I remember had like a lot of those like hidden things when you had to like find the stuff. But hopefully, you know, find the stuff in the menus and everything. Natural Born Killer Director's Cut. This one's not open. But hopefully we can find something. I'm just gonna keep looking through all this stuff, but Crocodile Dundee, open range. But as you can see though, there's a lot to go through. So I'm gonna be looking at these a while. I'm not gonna show everything, but try and give you like an idea of some of the stuff that's here. Entourage season, seasons, awesome powers, wedding date, cookout, species three, Lenny the wonder dog. It's a weird one, weird one there. This is another one of those ones I remember really liking when this first came out. You know, uh, King's Ransom. I always thought that was kind of, kind of funny. Evening with Kevin Smith. Yeah, but it's a lot, like I was saying, like super, super common. I Hopefully, there's some really obscure ones in here. Hopefully, we come across something like that, but we'll see. I'll keep looking. I'll show you guys anything interesting I come across, though. This is a funny, like, steelbook one here. It's like Twilight New Moon steelbook. It's a Blu-ray steelbook from, like, 2009. This kind of funny, like, random, like, steelbook in here. I, ne I don't remember seeing this one. I guess this came out... You know, back then when it was when the movie was new, that's kind of funny though to see. Like I can say, I, I don't remember seeing that one when that first came out. I don't think I was really noticing steelbooks too well at that point. But yeah, like I said, got a lot here to look in. But fingers crossed, we can find something. It's like real freezing out here though. It's like it's really cold. Well, I went down that first aisle there, now I'm on to this aisle. And there are some interesting things in here. This is kind of funny seeing this edition, you know, the original DVD release of Shallow Grave. This is probably my favorite Danny Boyle movie. Like, I really love this movie. I feel like this is one of the ones you don't hear about as often. But it's such a, like, a great movie. I also love the music in that. But like, I saw this one thing here that was kind of interesting, this, um flushed away one. This is one of those ones where it has like the stuff I think inside of it. I think it might have been like liquid or something but if they had one like this for Saul but the all the liquid kind of dissolved over the years like evaporated so there's like none left but this is kind of a cool weird one but as you can see like there's no liquid left in it. You see like the glitter and stuff in it though. But yeah just gonna keep going through all these and there, here's where some of the Blu-rays are. I better look at these Blu-rays faster and before everyone else goes through them. Wedding Crashers, The Family, Age of Adeline. There are some HD DVD ones in here too, like a couple ones. And I still have a player of that, that Eddie Furlong movie, Cruel World. I kind of like that movie about him like setting up these cameras in a house, kind of like a Big Brother thing. Family Guy thing, Dead Man Down. I see Dread over there, which is good. I, I really like that one. Bridesmaids, Pitch Perfect. Well, I've now gone down two of the aisles. And like I said, it's it's really common stuff. Like, I'm not seeing anything like that much that's really coming like, you know, really that different. It seems to be like a lot of like, I don't know if they like, maybe they know the prices of things, you know what I mean? Like, and like the really good things, they probably sold on eBay and these are all like the dollar type things. But I feel like there might be just something in here, you know what I mean? Like something 
rare. You never know though. That, like they could have missed or that they just like, you know, got tired of scanning things or something. Like this is kind of an interesting thing. Ghost in the uh, Shell Innocence here. The Ghost, the Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence. So that's kind of one of the more slightly obscure things that I've seen in here. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to keep looking through here. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything because like, you know, I can't come back. <laughs> This is kind of a weird thing. Odyssey, The Mind's Eye, Computer Animation, 20 award-winning shorts. Award-winning Computer Animation Shorts. So this is from 2001. This one really, sometimes these kind of things can be kind of obscure. Well, I mean, I've never seen that, but like sometimes this can be kind of a rare thing. I'm not the, one of those people that flips anything or anything like that. I just keep everything. But still, it's cool to come across like really weird stuff. So this, there seems to be some more weirder things in this area. This thing here. Radar Man, which is some kind of like, I don't know what this is. I think this might be like like those serial, yeah, serial kind of things. That's definitely a weirder thing here. Battle Beyond the Sun. I just wish there was more horror movies in here. There, you know, there's a couple I've seen, but nothing like like weird 80s horror movies or anything like obscure. I'm not seeing much of that kind of stuff though, you know, horror wise. These things, I remember when these came out. Like they, they used to, I don't know if you guys remember, they used to have a discovery store. And like, um, I, I think they, you know, they all closed down like a number of years back where they used to sell these ones in the store. And it was like the Discovery Channel had their own store. It was all kind of like stuff that was related to them and kind of like learning kind of um, products and stuff like that, like games and all that kind of stuff. But this is kind of a weird thing, this Spike and Mike uh, animation one. You don't see that too often. This is a funny thing too. These um, Brentwood ones, I've never seen one in a, uh, you know, you know, the DVD ones where it's like those multi-pack, uh, you know, public domain ones. I've never seen one in like a small case like this. That's definitely a weird kind of case. It's like a 10 disc set of this one. That's definitely a weird one. I've, I've never seen one in this kind of case. Well, now down three of them, and still nothing yet. We're into the fourth, there's only two more lines left. And there are some other kind of things over here, like games and that kind of stuff. But I keep looking though, like I said, you, you never really know. And you hear, I'm hearing like chickens making noise, and the one dog is barking inside, but there's like, there's like, like chickens making all kind of noise, and roosters, and all, all sorts of noises and stuff going on out here. But like I said, I'm just gonna keep looking here. All these like double feature ones. Night of Living Dead, Carnival of Souls. Cause like Night of Living Dead is one of those movies that, you know, was in the public domain. So there's been like so many releases of that over the years. Wrong Turn 2, which I think out of all the sequels to Wrong Turn, that's my favorite one. Like I always really liked that one a lot. Panic Room, and this one was supposed to come to, uh, I think 4K, like, re like, they're supposed to have already come out and then like it never ended up they changed the date and it never ended up releasing hopefully at some point that one finally because it hasn't even ever even come to um blu-ray before so hopefully at some point it finally gets the release dance on bob but as you can see it's nothing that out of the norm here the universe history channel Ryan the Bullet. So there are some horror ones in this area. Graveyard. I don't think I have that one. Well, I'm now on to the last one here. And I haven't found anything yet. I've been really looking though. Like, I've been really... I think I've been here like 35 minutes or something. Like just sort of sorting through all this stuff and trying not to miss anything. But I'm definitely hearing some interesting conversations. I think like the one person was here was going, do you have Excalibur? And they're like, oh. And they kept, everyone was like looking for Excalibur. And I heard other people going, well, I, I don't, we don't have a, a chart of what we have, but do you think you have Excalibur? And then like that person left. And then all of a sudden then they said, oh, I found Excalibur. Some other person found it. And then the person already laughed. I, I, this is one of those movies too that it's funny, it has a Zia Records. Uh, sticker on that. The, the, a couple of them in here have Zia Records uh, stickers, so that's kind of funny. This is a weird edition of Harry Potter. 
thought this one's like a, um, it's probably a bootleg of it. That's like a, definitely a very strange addition here. Let's see if it's like a real one or not. Yeah, it looks like a bootleg. No, it's a, I, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a more authentic looking bootleg or something. Dean Martin Celebrity Rose. What's this one here? They're all so dewy. Shoot to kill. Sydney Pontier. I don't know this one. So look this one up. I do not know that one though. That's one of the more interesting ones I've seen. And these ones here are all like loose discs. I don't know what these ones cost. Sometimes I found really weird ones. Like when they were loose in the past. Like stuff like Clown House and like really obscure stuff. So sometimes you never know what these. It's funny, there's more obscure ones. Some, some sort of weirder ones this way. These ones are like red box discs in there. So like rental only ones, rental ones, district nine. If you want, we can um, grab you a chair and another table so you can sit down. Well, you? No, it's easier to stand. Okay. Okay. Because if not, we can grab a table and chair and come out. Yeah, I was up there like pretty much like an hour or something, something like that looking through them. I grabbed like a couple things. I didn't find anything like amazing or like I said, there was nothing like really out of print or anything that I came across or anything. I, I feel like it's like they kind of know, not, I think since it's, I think they're flippers, that's what they're called. I, you know, that's what they call the thing. Um, so, you know, that's what they do, I think. Uh, so I think they kind of check the prices and kind of like put all the common stuff out here. So I think that's kind of what was going on. And there was all kind of interesting things going on. Like there's this one old guy that came there and he's still there. And like, um, he was like, he came over and he's like, well, listen, I, I cannot bend down. So how am I going to look at all this? And then they're like, um, so they've been like, they have to bring over every box one at a time. And he has to look at it and they put it on a table and he's looking at it. And he's like, well, I'm going to be here all day doing this. I got to look through every single box. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, we're here till 11. He's like, well. I'm gonna be here looking through all these boxes. <laughs> so there's a lot, a lot of interesting conversations going on in there. But I did end up getting um, three things. I got uh, four things. I got this um, Nico Strakis movie uh, called Dot Com for Murder, which is a kind of obscure one to see here. Um, then I got this one. So I think I've seen in the past before. I know, I know I don't have it. Knocking on Death's Door. So I got that one. I ended up getting that Cindy Pontier movie, which looked kind of interesting, called Shoot to Kill, um, as well as this one here called uh, The Graveyard. These are some of the few horror movies that I came across, well, the three of them were horror movies that I came across that I didn't have. There was not that many horror. That was the one thing I noticed was not too many horror movies. And like I was saying throughout the whole time, a lot of super common stuff, but still was kind of interesting thing to see because I've never really been to a thing like this where it was like 90% movies. Usually it's just kind of like maybe like... 50 movies tops at like yard sales and that kind of stuff, but this was like exclusively movies. So I'll have to look and see if they have like a sale like this where it's like, m you know, more expensive movies. Like if it was like everything was like $5 each, maybe there would be some really obscure stuff because there was a couple TV and stuff like that, but not a whole lot. But anyway, though, guys, thanks so much for watching, subscribing. Let me know in the comments below, though, uh, you know, if you guys ever go into like a thing like this where it was like all movies like that. And, you know, uh, and let me know too, like if you ever, fan like, what some of the most interesting out of print things you guys have come across because today I didn't really find that much but still was interesting to see this but anyway though guys thanks so much for watching subscribing and I'll see you guys later bye